I'm Nate from Webex.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a child theme and how to override your uh, theme using a child theme without wasting a lot of time. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to install a plugin called Child Theme Configurator by going plugins and add new and search for child theme. This is the plugin I'm looking for. As you can see, it is uh, the, it, it is the child theme configurator and by uh, Lilia e Media. I don't know how to pronounce that. If you know, please let me know in the comment section below. So, as you can see, I have already installed and activated the plugin. Uh, we can save our time. Uh, so, if you would like to access the plugin setting, you can do so by going Tools and Child Themes. Next, you need to select the theme uh, you would like to make a child theme for. Like I would like to make a child theme for 2020 theme. So um, the theme will be available here, uh, which is you have available and on appearance themes. So I would like to select the 2020 theme and analyze it. Then create a child theme here. It is the it is checking it. So that's it. You have already made the child theme. So next thing you need to do is to activate the child theme by going. Uh, appearance themes. Next, you will see the uh, child theme here 2020. 2020 child. So, if you would like to know the child theme option, if you analyze the theme, you will see uh, some of the options will come here. Like, if you would like to um, have the style or CS1 in the child theme too, you can just select the option. Also, if you would like to have a separate style sheet on your child theme, uh, then style.css, you can just click on this button. But I would like to go with this one, that's why I have created with the default city. If you would like to enqueue your style sheet by a WordPress function called get template directory URI on your child theme, you can just simply use this function, and this is the recommended option. But if you would like to uh, import the CSS using the import um, keyword uh, of CSS uh, rather than uh, get template directory URI function then you can simply use this function but this is not recommended as you can see it's also not recommended according to the this plugin and it's also not recommended as according to WordPress documentation sorry for that but I would like to uh, go with this option and you can also find there are lots of options here like query selector, uh, property value, and web fonts. Uh, baseline style, which is the main style of the parent theme, you can find it here. And child theme style, which we have already created the child theme and which is uh, empty, just the um, it's only the header part containing this. Uh, this is important if you if you remove this to one. Uh, recognize your theme as you can see uh, in the comment section uh, a keyword called template and which is the uh, he is pointing to the directory of the 2020 child theme 2020 uh, main theme so um, that's it if you like to create a child theme feel free uh, to uh, do that using a plugin like I have I have used uh, so if you would like to know uh, why you need the child theme so I would like to cover that too uh, basically, if you don't have an option on your side uh, that you want to edit, like if, if you like to, let's say, I would like to edit this markup, uh, like uh, you can edit this, edit, edit this text by going settings, uh, settings and general because it's coming from the site tagline. But if you like to uh, uh, edit this markup, like some sometimes you need to edit this markup to uh, styling things or something like that or you want to edit something after the just another WordPress site in that case you can just uh, create a child theme and use it on your site and even if you update your parent theme in future you won't lose your modification that's the benefit of child theme but as long as you have option on the theme uh, that you are using you don't have to uh, create a child theme or you don't have to edit anything on your site so <clears throat> that's basically what child theme uh, does for us and this is very useful so I would like to now cover how to edit a core file of parent theme 
so to do so i would like to open my text editor as you can see i have already opened the wp content directory which you can find on your road directory of your site so i would like to go to uh themes folder under the wp contents folder and you can see we have a folder called 2020 child and this is where this is you will see when you go to page source let's like, like search for wp content sorry themes and you can see uh, this is the um, slack you will see 2020 child but if you like to use your own word here you can simply uh, do that when you create your child name like you just need to uh, give the name here like I would like to give a web extent and if you then create child name it will uh, it will uh, create a child name using that name so that's it now I would like to add a simply a line after the restaurant theme and or after the tagline so to do so first of all you need to make sure from where it is coming actually uh, all of wordpress header and footer coming from header comes from header.php and footer comes from footer.php so um, i would like to edit the header so uh, first of all you need to create a uh, you need to create a file here called header.php Php spelling is mirrored so make sure uh, you don't uh, make a mistake on spelling so next to get the uh, right markup and existing markup on your header.php you just need to copy the existing header code from here but uh, if you don't do that if you refresh your site you'll see everything is broken here so be, please be, uh, make sure you just copy the existing header code so copy that and go to header.php of your child in then save it and now if you refresh it you will see everything uh, will be same as it was so now I would like to search for the uh, markup I'm looking for let's say let's see where uh, as you can see uh, it's coming from the header titles if you would like to see where it's coming from you can search you can see the markup here as you can see um, it is coming from the header titles so uh, this is the markup I'm looking for let's see I would like to add something here let's see I would like to add a div here and additional text okay now uh, I would like to add something here to sorry to all over the world if you refresh it you'll see how all well have been added there so this is how you can add anything on header.php or any existing file you want let's see I would like to um, edit the fura.php also so let's see I would like to edit this one like on the top two button I would like to remove the uh, to the top text to do so I would just want to go to foda.php and copy the foda.php file then um, create a file called same name with the same name foda.php next pass the file then if you would like to uh, let's say I would like to remove the text from here to the top as you can see this is the text so I have just move it that's it and if you go to uh, your side refresh it you will see the update both so this is this is how uh, WordPress child theme works now if you would like to uh, completely change a file like if you search for something here hello world and this is the search result uh, if you would like to edit search file you need to uh, find the file where the search uh, comes from so uh, by default it comes from the index.php but if you uh, if you uh, if the theme contains a file called search.php then uh, the theme uh, moves uh, moves to search.php and that's how WordPress template works so I have also a blog post uh, regarding this so I will put the link in the description below so now if you like if you go to um, let's see I would like to um, 
uh, edit the search page now uh, if you just uh, look at the t t uh, 2020 theme you will see there is no uh, file called search.php that means it's coming from the index.php now if you copy that copy that and go to your uh, child theme uh, if you would like to specifically uh, edit your search file then you need to just uh, create a file called search.php let's see first of all make sure uh, if you, the, the file is working well now if you uh, refresh it as you can see it's only contain the search.php string uh, so now I would like to pass the code here and load it as you can see it's working well now if you would like to make any edits here you can just simply uh, edit here as you can see um, everything everything you have on your hand you can edit anything you want so that's it for today if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe our channel and if you want to know anything about wordpress templating system please feel free to uh, share on comment section below i will catch up in the next video